Street, mm. right down the middle. Knock out. That was sick. My name's Ada, I'm 13 years old. I live in East London with my dad, uncle and grandma and I aspire to be a boxer. I've always wanted to get in the ring in front of an audience. And in just eight weeks, I've got my first ever match. Usually you can find me at home cracking jokes with all my crazy cousins. <laughs> Posting selfies. Taking shots my portfolio. Yeah, you sick kicks. That's so weird really, like, that I said it about yourself, but it's really good. But what I really want to be is a boxer. I first got into boxing because of my dad. We always used to do it in my garage, so my dad would like do some boxing with me since I was really young. But then I started getting more into it when I was about 10. When I'm training, I spar. But like with sparring, it's not like full on. It's just adrenaline and excitement. That's so fun. A lot of my friends support boxing, and the boys are also very supportive as well. I think they're a tiny bit scared of me though, which is funny. <laughs> My parents split up when I was three. Since then, it's just been me and my dad. You can't beat me, you're not allowed. My dad's like my best friend, my rock, and he's the one that took me into boxing and took me into sports. You beat me. I actually beat you? Yes, you did. That was sick. So you got some And we have like a really good connection. So we do not only boxing, but we do like athletics and drawing and music and the urban streetwear and photography so and cooking. Hey, this will fix you up. And I don't really know people that's close to their dads and me and my dad. Because me and my dad are just like best friends. Before I go training he'll tell me tips and then when I am training I'll listen to the coach but I'll also listen to his thought in my mind. I love seeing that like big smile on his face after I, I've achieved one of my goals. It just makes me feel really happy and proud. I don't really know who my opponent's going to be, but I know that they're going to be like the same height as me and the same level as me. I'm really excited for my fight now, but I feel like when I get closer to the time, I'm going to start getting a little bit nervous, but at the same time be really excited and like just have that adrenaline. The exhibition match won't be a winning or a losing bout. It's how junior boxers start off. But there's a lot of hard work to do first. With eight weeks to go, I've asked my cousins round to my house because I've got a surprise for them. So as you probably know, I'm training. I'm gonna have to take home all of the sweets, oh all of the chocolates, <gasps> look like the crisps, oh. the ice cream. <laughs> it's not just the training, I also had to make sure that my diet was on point. I had to cut down all of my chocolates, all of my takeaways, sweets, and it wasn't the easiest thing. I take one last picture of it <laughs> from the days that I'm feeling sad. I'm not the most disciplined person, so that's how I felt like I just had to get all of the fatty foods out of the house because I know, I just know myself that if they were all there in the house, I would just eat it. I want to bring you back to one of my boxing No, I can't do anything. I tried to do one press up. Layla, Layla was just work. laughing the whole time. Was like, she was running <laughs> and I could, I could just hear her say, <laughs> I, was trying, I tried to run round, you know, it says run round the room. I was like, and I lapped her like two three seconds times. later. I honestly love them to bits. I like my sisters. I'm really proud of her. Like, Aww. I boast about to all my friends that she's, it's the, I feel like it's the best thing that's ever happened. In a minority, there's quite less people that box with hijabs, and I think that she's making Hardly a real anyone. statement. Yeah, she's making a real statement, and I'm proud of her, and I support her every step of the way. <laughs> love you, Ada. Ada, so this is the meal plan you've uh, put together, yeah, for the yeah. week? On Monday to Sunday. So this is the healthy meal snacks. preps that we need to do. So Monday is salmon and spinach with vegetables and couscous. Tuesday is fajitas. Wednesday is jerk chicken with rice and beans. Thursday is pasta. And then Friday is just like, it repeats. So salmon, vegetables, 
and then Saturday your lunches, jerk chicken, dinners, beaters, then Sunday is lunch is pasta and then we'll have our cheat meal but all we can have our cheat meal on Friday and then put this to sun Sunday. Eating healthy all the time can be difficult. To make it easier, you can give yourself the occasional cheat meal, a bit of comfort food for a treat. It's a cheat meal, not a cheat day, right? Yeah. So today was like a cheat day, but going yeah. forward once once a week, yeah, you still have to, it starts to be healthy, like you had the chicken shish today, which is fairly healthy-ish, but it's going to be just one meal a week. Okay? Yeah. All right, well done. Just as everything feels like it's going really well, disaster strikes. I injured my hand messing around at home. So this is what my hand is currently looking like. It's green all over, kind of like in a V shape of green. And basically in the middle of my index finger and my middle finger, but it's really, really swollen. And you've just got like white patches and green patches everywhere. So I just got back from the hospital and basically it's good news and it's bad news at the same time. The good news is that it's not a fractured knuckle and it's not a broken knuckle. However, the bad news is soft tissue damage, which means that it will just be three weeks or more of just resting my right hand. With my hand injured, I have to take some time out of training, but luckily I have someone to give me some words of wisdom. Yo! Yo! How are you, Ada? I'm good, how are you? Connor Ben is a family friend, one of the most exciting young boxers in the UK right now, and my dad has asked him round to give me some advice. As a fighter, you know, you're a role model to so many people, so the way you conduct yourself, the way you carry yourself, is very important. You, you always look presentable, you always talk um, respectfully to everyone, even your opponents. What happened to your hand? I've done this in training uh, for my last fight, you know. It's part of the job. Sometimes you have injuries, you've just got to work through them. So yeah, Ada, try and not get injuries in the game, obviously. Try and avoid getting hit. You're always learning technique. You can always get fit. Uh, make sure you're focused on your training. Leave all your problems at the door, and when you go in the gym, you focus on training. Talking to Connor has been inspiring. I know I can be a good boxer. I just need to work hard and stay focused when I come back from my injury. But right now, it's giving me a bit of time off my crazy schedule to have some fun and spend some time with friends and family. A lot of people think that I'm like a really like tomboy just because I do boxing and stuff, but actually I think I'm one of the most girliest people. Like I always spend time with my auntie and it's really, really good to just do all the girly things I can't do with my dad. Hi. Hi. Painting each other's nails and doing makeup, doing hair. You can't tell Nani that I've got another pair of shoes. Okay. Don't grass me up. <gasps> they are so nice. See, if you were the same size as me, you'd have had free reign to borrow all my shoes. Luckily, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> These are on your Insta? Yeah, I took them down there. Because I was like, who was going to think that they're mine? Did you? Yeah. <laughs> well, you can borrow them whenever you want. Maybe you just don't stretch them out. Do you want me to put it just like above your cheekbone, I think? I'll put a tiny bit of this on. But you're not allowed to use it. Okay. Without my authorization. <laughs> ever. You're not allowed to wear makeup until you're like 25. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's brave and I like the way that she always follows her dreams. Yeah, and I think it's really encouraging because it's something positive. It's not just her concentrating on just like fashion or makeup like a lot of kids do these days. I think it's like a really positive thing that she's doing. Thank you. <laughs> All right, selfies? Yes. Wait, let's do it with a sparkly background. It's Ramadan, which is a time when Muslims fast during the day. Yeah. The month of fasting, the month of change, the month of taqwa. <laughs> so we set ourselves with these little targets and, uh, and these little victories. In the evening, it's time to get together and focus on charity, our faith and our community. We break our fast together with a big meal called iftar. As you can imagine, you get very hungry after a long day of fasting and there's often lots of sweets. Lots of sweets. 
it's difficult to resist the temptation to eat all the sweets, especially when you're focused on your fitness. Maybe just one. How long have you been boxing for? I started when I was really young, like three, four, and then really? yeah, and then I got back into it when I was about ten. Is it? Yeah. With my little cutie putty. <laughs> the next best female boxer. Thank you. I said it first. Just wait for it, girls. <laughs> well, guys, what everyone? <laughs> See you soon. Yeah. Somebody come Did you come to my house? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my <laughs> darling. Yeah, I've been fasting and cutting back on training because of my hand, so my fitness hasn't been great. Not sure if I'll be able to make the match in just a month's time. With Ramadan over and my hand on the men, it's time to get back to my favourite place, the gym. Well, she's a very polite girl. Right? She's really polite, nice, yeah. nice young girl. All right? How's your hand? Can you punch with it today? Yeah. I'll wrap it up. Yeah. Every now and then, if you just knock it on something, it, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. How long did they say it take? They said two weeks. Is that all rest? Yeah. We'll go down, eh? All right. Ready, girls? Boys? Boxing isn't just punching. You need skill and technique. Andre has been training me, teaching me how to be a better yeah, so boxer. That's got to come a little bit quicker, lady. Yeah, turn, so keep your elbow in. Right, so you're gonna... I love the feeling when I'm boxing. Double the jab. And there's nothing else that's like it. Yeah, up on the bang, bang, boom, 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 turning. Come on, come on, come on, that's it. Keep going forward, creep forward, creep forward. Don't move. Since I've been out of action, it's a real battle to build up my fitness. One, one, lock it out, two. Three, left hook, lean back, pump, short, yeah. And then the right cross again. Ready? You've got to let it go. You've got to work hard. You've got to push yourself through it. Yeah, so got, not yet, but eventually, you keep coming regular, then you'll get there. Because each time I'll put it a bit harder, a little bit harder, a little bit harder. Yeah. Ready, boys? Come on. Cheers, Andre. All right. Well Thank done. you. Well Have a good weekend. Yeah. See you soon. I like to keep in style, but sadly, when shopping for new boxing gear, there isn't much choice, especially for smaller people. Uh, what was it you coming in for today? Hand wraps, gloves, mouth guard, boxing boots. Boots. Um, okay. And what else? Um, and just maybe some, some clothes. Some training them? kit, yeah. Okay. What do you reckon, Ada? Yeah, I like See a lady's glove, specifically designed to fit a lady. Because uh, generally, <laughs> ladies have smaller hands than men, so the insides are slightly smaller. Yeah, do you want to stick her dolls, yeah? Yeah, I think the pink. Yeah, come on, get the pink. But sometimes when your heart's set on a colour, which I think that's caught your eye, it's always best to go with your heart and stick with yeah. the colour you want. I agree. You don't want to go home and all day and want to change it. Do you do training gear? Clothes. We do, but it's very, very limited, limited especially yeah. for juniors. I mean, yeah. we're always crying out to people to, to make them a lot smaller, um, but they just don't see the market in it. Bye. <gasps> that is so... Expensive. I feel like it's really important to have some modest sportswear. All of the things that the mainstream brands are like um, crop things, crop tops and crop leggings and like lots of singlets and I can't really wear that. I'm just looking for some things that will be suitable to wear. Everything to do with like the book singles at the moment of not being able to wear base layers and not being able to wear like the hijab is really bad. It won't do anything, it's just layering up so I don't understand how it could harm the other person. Hopefully like if I do do this exhibition then after this is done then it will open up a lot of more doors to me having a proper bout. With just a week to go I'm off to watch kids my age at an exhibition.
really composed and relaxed standards really good isn't it the straight the straight simple punches are the most effective it's not about hit and not hit hit it's not when you get hit you need to be the master of defense Did you hear what i said yeah I'm the master of defense my dad's trying to talk me through it but all I can think of is that I'll be up there in a week's time. Will I be ready? Skills fair, your appreciation for both boxes. I'm also having my medical to make sure I'm in good enough shape to box. Yeah, because I, I need to listen to a chat. So is, if it's a full medical, then I have to, I have to do everything I'm fine. Skin. He was bringing out all these different tools I've never seen before to check my knees and my elbows. On the line. That's it, perfect. Knee on toe, on the line. That's it, well done, good stuff, good. So I'm very happy with everything, you look good, and I'll sign you off that you're fit to box, okay? I don't know how happy I am about that. <laughs> I'm happy you're fit, I don't know if I want you boxing though. Dad supports me all the way, but I guess it's going to be really hard for him to see me in the ring for the first time. So I train three times a week now, from once a week to three times a week. And these aren't just one hour, they're like two and a half hours, two hours. Sully, who's organising the match, has some news, so I'm heading to the boxing club to find out what's going on. The club is at a local mosque, and it's where I'll be doing the match. Good, work it, keep him away with the jab. That's it. Relax. Good, relax. Time, well done. You right? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. All right. You ready for Sunday, yeah? Mm -hmm. We put you up with someone, didn't we? The one, one of the girls. You're not fighting the girl anymore. Uh, you're fighting one of the boys. It's very difficult for me to find a girl that can match you at the level that you're at at the moment. So for me, I think it will be more beneficial for you sparring one of the boys. So you ready? Yeah, yeah. Ready to go? All right, let's go. Let's do this. Well done. Let's go. <laughs> When I first got told that I was going to fight a boy, I didn't really know how it'd be. I didn't really know if he'll think I'm weak just because I'm a girl. Like all these type of stereotypical things. Okay, so Ada, she's having a move around with um, one of the one of the boys. When I saw her coming to the club, just straight away on the pads, I could see naturally she's she's very gifted. <laughs> Don't go all in at first and think about the punch that you want to follow. That was tough. It hasn't really helped my confidence. I'm not sure how I'll get through the exhibition. Excellent. I don't think I done well. No, nah, why? I don't know. Why? Don't be upset. No, I'm not, I'm not. I'm just... Like, you know like when you expect something more? Yeah. yeah. One thing, what do you think I'm going to say? Fitness. Your fitness. And what are you doing outside of boxing to improve and better your fitness? Um. Nothing. True? True. Okay. Okay. But you've done well. Don't beat yourself up. Yeah? yeah? Come on. You can do better than that. All right, don't worry. Listen, I know you're, you're your dad, yeah? He's your dad. So he's going to be like, oh, hey, don't you do put your hands up. But don't take it like you're doing anything wrong. He's is very passionate, isn't it? You're his daughter. At the end of the day, he wants you to do the best that you can be. And he knows that. 
What did uh, Sully say? He said to practice on my fitness. Don't worry, you've done well, but you know what you got to work on, yeah? yeah. All right. Yeah. Come on. Well done, Captain. Well done. Keep up the good work, all right? Yeah. It's time to get serious with my training because I want to be at my best for my big match. You've done well, but you know what you've got to work on, yeah? I think she's brave and I like the way that she always follows her dreams. Make sure you're focused on your training. You've got to work hard. Push yourself through. And I'm proud of and I support her. Look good. <laughs> I didn't go into boxing knowing that I was going to be like a role model or I didn't like really choose it. I just done it because it was my passion and I thought, yeah, I'm going to wear the hijab and what's that, what's, what's the problem? But little did I know there was actually loads of obstacles and barriers I had to face when doing boxing. When amateur fighting, you can't even wear base layers or the headscarf. Like why, why do I have to be a role model to people that want to do a sport? That that shouldn't be a thing and it should be open to everyone. I just feel like, Go for it. Justin has been training me up for the match and will be in my corner during the bout, keeping me going. It'll be amazing. She's more than ready for it. Watch the start the last couple of months and she's uh, definitely ready. I'm going up against Farhan, who's one of the most skilled boxers at my club. I'm the only girl boxing tonight. I know nobody wins or loses an exhibition, but I still need to perform at my best. Uh, the day she was born was, was the best thing that ever happened to me. And then every day since then, I've just. Being her dad is the best job in the world. We, we've got an unbreakable connection. She had these world, it would have been easier to do. Like, she's trained really hard and like, I know how much she wants this. So, yeah. I'm really proud of her, to be honest. for the first round. No more nerves. I'm focused and I know I can do this. Relax a little bit on your shots though, yeah? But all your movement's been ideal. But I want you to go to the body a little bit more. You did it right at the end. Slow it down a little bit, I don't want you to blow out. We've got two more rounds. You're more than fit enough anyway. Yeah? yeah? How are you feeling there? Let's go. Up and down. Where's that body? There you go. Amazing. Your guard's been amazing. Your movement's been good. 
Just keep doing what you're doing, but just throw more body in there. That's the best I've seen you box. <laughs> Even for tonight, yeah? Yeah. No, that's amazing. Keep doing the same thing you're doing. get the ring, you find out if someone's really, really got it in them or not. And Ada's definitely got it. She's not doing it again. No. I'll get a heart attack. Oh. <laughs> she was brave though, she was so brave. She, she took it like a champion. She gave it as well. She took it hard, she, yeah, she took it. She was showboating in the middle. Like, <laughs> she took it, she took it. So all the girls out there that want to try boxing, just do it. If anyone's trying to put you off, anyone's saying no, don't do it. You have to go with your heart, you have to go with your gut instinct and do it. Because that's exactly what happened to me. It was just my dad who was like, oh yeah, let's do boxing. Even he was a bit nervous of it. But um, now look at it, everyone's supporting me and everyone's seeing, yeah, so what if she's a girl? If you're a girl, you can do any sport. You can do it better. 